Hi everyone, Mahar Haddad here. So uh, in this uh, new video, I would like to show you how you can connect your Microtech Router OS so all the logs that this uh, router will be doing to be sent to a uh, syslog server. So this is what I would like to explain in this video. Let's start first to explain what is the scenario of this video. So as you can see here, we have one router. This is the Microtech Router. I'm going to use the Microtech Router OS version 7. So with the latest version, which is 7.6, stable now. So I already have this Microtech Router connected to a computer, which I'm going to install inside of it, a syslog server, which is a software. You can get it um, from the internet, or you can buy software from third parties, uh, paid uh, versions, so also to have a syslog server over there. So I'm going to use the visual syslog. This is a software you can download it from the internet, and uh, uh, it is free of charge, and I'm going to use it to be the syslog. So what is the syslog? If you know, when we will work on the MicTech, so let me show you. So when you are on the MicTech router here, you will see some logs over here. And sometimes if you are working for an ISP, those logs needs to be recorded and saved somewhere so you can go back to them. Because what you see over here, it stays in the memory. And if you re reboot your router, then everything will be gone. So what you can do, you can use a, a syslog server. You install a syslog server on a machine or on a virtual uh, machine or whatever. But uh, you can have a, a syslog server and then you can send the logs. Uh, and also you can send the logs based on the sensitivity. So you can say, for example, I want the info and the warning only to be sent to the syslog server. Or I want uh, the higher level because the logs, they have seven uh, layers or seven levels that you can choose which one you want to send. You can send all of them as well. That's not a problem. So back to here, what I'm going to do now is that um, I'm going to make the configuration on this router. So it will send the logs to the syslog. Of course, first I have to install the syslog on my computer, on my machine. I'm going to show you which uh, software I'm using and then to let them communicate to each other. So those will be able to communicate to each other. So whenever there is any log here, it will directly send to the syslog server and this will show up for us the log. So let's start directly. First, what is the software that I need to uh, get? So I'm going to use the visual syslog server. If uh, you just go to Google and uh, you just search for um, visual, visual and uh, syslog server, visual syslog server. So this is one of the softwares uh, that uh, you can uh, get. Um, maybe we can get it from uh, this one or over here. That's that's the where you can download it, and then you can just uh, download it, and then yeah, then you have the syslog on your computer, um, and then you only need to install it. Next, 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 and then you have it installed. Very good. So once you have it installed, then you will just open it, and you will get something like this one. So this is what uh, uh, you get. Uh, so uh, now what you need to do, you have to do some configuration on the setup over here. You have to put the IP address of your computer. So if you see, this is my computer. If I say a uh, comment prompt, if I say IP config, you will see that um, I have used this one. I just created a, an adapter and I put inside of it 172.16.0.2. So this IP that you put on your computer or on the server, because normally you, send, you have to install this on a server. So this IP address, you just put it here. So it listens to the UDP and to the TCP, and you leave the port 514 the same. That's all what you need to do from this side, and then you keep it open. Now let's go to the Microtech router to see what we have to do. So we go to the Microtech router. On the Microtech router, first thing, I have to put an IP address on the interface, which is connected directly to this uh, syslog server. So as you can see in the picture, and if you want, I can show it to you here. So we have here Ethernet 1 connected to the syslog server. It should be from the same range of the IP, which is on my computer. So on my computer, I have 172.16.0.2. I put here 172.16.0.1, so they can see each other on Ethernet 1. That's all what I need to do. Now, to configure the syslog, we have to go to the system logging. All right. On the system logging, the first thing that I need to do is to go to the remote. 
and over here, so remote means that send the logs to a remote uh, syslog server. Over here, I have to put the IP of the syslog server, which we saw it is 172.16.0.2. And you see the port 514, that's why I told you do not change the port, because this is by default, if you look here, it is 514. So this is the same port as Microtech uses it. So I put the IP of the syslog server, 514, and then I will say here, okay. So now the router knows that there is a syslog server um, available. So that's what is the remote here on the IP 172.16.0.2. Now we have to say which of the, uh, the uh, levels or the logs that we need to send to the syslog server. So I make here plus, and I have to say here, so the topic, so you can see on MicTech you have really different topics. You can add more than one. So you can say, I want to send account and I want to send the BFD and I want to send info and so forth, right? So what I'm going to do for now, just to make it easy, I'm going to use the info. So info is, uh, uh, if I change something on the router directly, it will send an info. So, uh, Again, you can, if you want to specify about the firewall. So if you have firewalling and you want to specify, uh, specify about, about the firewall, then as well, you can see here, you have the firewall, you can choose that. So you have different uh, uh, topics that you can uh, get the logs on. I'm going to use the info and the prefix is something you, it should show uh, for you when there is a login com coming to the syslog server. I like to make it a capital letter so it shows clearly. So info, and then I will say prefix info, and then I will say this has to go to the remote. And uh, the remote, we already know that it's 172.16.0.2, and then I will say here apply. So now by doing that, if we go over here, you see, you see that we got directly the first log. What is this log? This log is the info that because I just now created this rule. So this rule has shown up over here, log rule added by admin. You see how nice it is? It's directly working. So now if I do something, maybe let's try. If I change the host name, system, and then uh, we go to identity, I'll make it router one, enter. Let's check if we get any log. So you can see directly that uh, it has showed up over here that uh, there is also the system identity changed by the admin. So you can see how nice now we can get all the uh, logging inside a log server. And then over here, if you want to dig more about what you are getting on, on log server, you can just go inside the rule and then you can see uh, more information. Actually, this is mostly what you see here. It will show up inside. All right, so this is uh, the best way to do it. Again, this is on the router as version 7. I'm using now, if you look here on the router, this is the router version 7.6. So this is working perfectly without any problem. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this video. So this is how you can set up a syslog server. This is especially important for people who run ISPs that you, they need to get the logging in a server because if you keep the logging on your router over here, then it made uh, fully your router and uh, yeah, it takes some more resources on your memory. So you better send everything to go to a syslog server. So if you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to put a like on this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you are notified by my new videos that I'm uploading on my YouTube channel. And I would really appreciate if you can share my videos to your community so more people know about my YouTube channel. So thank you very much for your time and till next time.